Oh, no, I was just about to ask Marjorie's advice on something, but it'll wait. <laughs> Marjorie, would you mind if Midler and I used your table for a reading lesson? It's so gloomy in the cellar. No, I don't mind at all. Come on. I mind! I was hoping the lesson will be cancelled today. It's sums and they're really hard. Not if you concentrate. Now, come on. Try this one. As I was saying, Marjorie, you know that my family has been storytellers for generations back. Uh, me, my father, my grandfather. Yes, it's a long family tradition, isn't it? And all of the storytellers are called Ease Up. That's right. But the trouble is, there won't be an Ease Up after me. I never married and had children, you see. So I haven't got a son to carry on the storytelling tradition after I've gone. Mm. Or a daughter. Pardon? You haven't got a son or a daughter who could be ease up after you. Well, ease ups have always been male, but there's no reason why a female shouldn't be a storyteller. Thank you. Hmm. If I had a daughter, I could teach her to tell stories. But, like I said, I haven't got any children at all. So, if the storytelling tradition isn't going to die out, You've got to teach somebody who isn't your child, sort of like an apprentice. Yes, I could do that. Mm. I like telling stories. In fact, I made one up only last week when we were pretending to be Robin Hood and his merry men. Would you like to hear it? I'd love to. <laughs> right, beat some any day. <laughs> you never know, Lisa. You might have found your apprentice after all. Just what I was thinking myself, Marjorie. <laughs> Let's hear a story, Tiddle Up. Well, Robin Hood's greatest enemy was the Sheriff of Nottingham. in search of his enemy, but thinking that he was just a poor woodcutter. What ho, woodcutter! What a lovely day! As soon as he saw him, the sheriff pulled out a net that he'd hidden in the wheelbarrow, flung it over the outlaw. But Robin was too quick for him. <laughs> he knocked the net aside with his sword and ran off laughing into the forest. And then what happened? Uh, well, he just went home for his tea. That's it? He just went home for his tea? Well, I couldn't think of anything else. I know it's not a very good ending. Well, the first bit was fine. Mm. I tell you what should have happened, though. Instead of knocking the net to one side, he should have been caught in it. Then we'd have some fun. Mm. Oh, poor old Robin. <laughs> oh, oh, gotcha! Oh, 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 oh,
the second best bowman after Robin Hood, prepare to fire an arrow. <laughs> there, what do you think? Oh, he was wonderful. <laughs> well, the first bit was yours. Yeah, but you made it a really good ending. <laughs> what do you think, Aesop? What do I think? <laughs> what a story, what a story. It's the best I've ever heard. What a story, what a story. I was thrilled by every word. It had a great beginning and it raced along from there From the very first line there was magic in the air The plot was exciting with lots of twist events And it came to a brilliant end What a story, what a story It's the best we've ever heard What a story, what a story We were thrilled by every word it had a proper hero, the type you want to cheer And a rotten nasty villain with a really evil sneer There was lots of action, I really must admit That that was a story and a bit And excellent is what I think of it <laughs> It looks as if he's up found his apprentice It won't be me Are you very disappointed? Yes, I am a bit. But I'm pleased for Midler. Well, it's all thanks to you, you know. How do you work that out? You're his Riddler, mm -hmm. aren't you? You're the one who teaches him. Yeah. And you've taught him everything he knows. Mm. Oh, hey! I'm going to be the next piece of... Oh, I can't wait to tell Boss of... Oh, oh. I... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember teaching him that. <laughs> 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 you're right. <laughs>